I have been working in fintech for a while, in fact, uh, uh, and I, I would I would say that if, there's a lot going on at the moment. One of the bigger changes, there's so many things to talk about, but one thing I would say blockchain, right? And we talk about digital currency or cryptocurrency or Bitcoin. So these are the disruptor at the moment happening. It will change the financial services, not only in Australia, but across the board. It's already changing and actually here, uh, uh, financial institutions are looking at how they kind of reorganize themselves to respond to that disruption of uh, fintech. And of course, uh, since it's an opportunity, it's also a risk as well. But how people, the Bitcoin value in the blockchain would be kind of measured or maintained, how are you going to govern that particular technology and how are you going to govern the market value of the Bitcoin as well itself, if a Bitcoin is one of the currency or cryptocurrency you call it. And uh, uh, in, in doing that, uh, both the platform, which is a big, uh, uh, blockchain platform, hosting all the currencies and stuff, uh, this requires a kind of policy level changes uh, when you implement that. It's not a small change. So I would say that it, off it is offering risk and also opportunity at the same time. And there's a trade of how you're going to balance that out. With the fintech explosion that's happening at the moment, I guess as a CFO, I'm you know, concerned with two major things. That's governance and guidance, as one of the speakers said this morning. And um, Guidance is terrific, that advice that we can offer our CEOs and our board of managements. But on the governance side, that's probably the thing that, um, again, as a CFO, I'm, I'm mostly conscious of, I suppose. Not concerned, but conscious. And um, it's something that we have to work hard at ensuring that you know, good governance doesn't get in the way of good business.